Hello, Unbrick me here and today we finally have high quality images for the LEGO Technic Mercedes-Benz Zetros trial truck as well as the heavy DD tow truck. First, let's start with the most exciting one, which is the Mercedes. This set is even better than I thought it would be because it actually uses the planetary wheel hubs that were first introduced in the Xtreme off-roader but weren't used anywhere else up until now. Easily the most interesting aspect of this truck is that it includes a powered up medium motor. I have so many questions right now. How will the motor determine which position it's in? Why not use a regular L motor which has a built-in rotation sensor? If we look over here, we can clearly see a driving ring, which will be used for locking the central differential. This Mercedes-Benz Zetros trial truck will not have a transmission, since the back of the box clearly shows a feature where you can lock the central differential, but not featuring the transmission. The back of the box of the 6x6 valve articulated hauler clearly advertised a 3-speed transmission, but this set does not, so we are 100% certain that this set will not have a transmission, but only a differential locking mechanism. Now it makes a ton of sense why a medium motor was chosen, rather than a regular large motor. In differential locking, there is only two positions, locked and unlocked. There is no need to accurately measure the rotation of the motor, as was with the 6x6 valve articulated hauler. It's also important to note that only the central differential will be able to lock, not the front or the back one, since the differential at the front is right in the middle of a Technic frame without any room for locking the mechanism. The same setup is likely used at the rear differential. However, this feature makes me extremely excited since we have never gotten a LEGO Technic set with a remotely controlled differential locking mechanism before and that feature easily makes the set on par with the legendary Volvo articulated hauler or even the 8043 motorized excavator. This set will also be a much better off-roader than the articulated hauler, since unlike that one, the LEGO Technic Mercedes-Benz Zetros will use two large motors paired together for driving and another large motor for steering. This makes me question why the large motors were used rather than the XL ones, since the extra large motors are able to handle more load before their power is cut. I greatly appreciate the aesthetics of the set. The stickers add an extra level of detail to the truck, but even if you prefer to build LEGO sets without stickers, then this truck will still look great, if not, even better. Stickers in the set are completely optional. It captures its real-life counterpart absolutely perfectly. I also appreciate the little duck on the front bumper. It reminds me a lot of the time we got a little bear on the bumper of the LEGO Technic 6x6 all-terrain tow truck set number 4070. Personally, I think the designers absolutely knocked it out of the park with the LEGO Technic Mercedes-Benz 42129. The LEGO Technic motto is authenticity, functionality, and challenging building. This is one of the few sets in recent years that has pretty much perfected all three of these categories. There is a variant of the Mercedes-Benz Zetro Street though that has a crane, so it does make me wish that this set came with pneumatics and served as a successor to the Unimog U400 and the Aurox rather than the 4x4 Xtreme Off-Roader of 2019. However, the LEGO Technic 4129 will still easily be the best off-roader ever made. The set will contain 2,110 pieces and it will retail for 300 euro. That price is expensive and it does seem overpriced at first glance. However, keep in mind that this set contains three large motors as well as a medium motor, so as a result, I don't think the set is terribly priced. Especially considering that the 4x4 Xtreme off-roader was $250 for less than a thousand pieces and only three motors instead of four. Still, you can get a much better deal with the LEGO Technic 6x6 Volvo articulated hauler since you will pay $50 less, but you will get more pieces, a speed transmission gearbox, the dumping function, and more. This set should have been priced at $250 not 300. It's not a terrible price, but I still think the set would sell way better if it were $50 cheaper. If you enjoy learning about the upcoming LEGO Technic sets, and you would like to uncover the secrets of LEGO Technic, like which gears and motors are the rarest, then make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn all about LEGO Technic. But, no pressure, no pressure. Our next set is the LEGO Technic Heavy Duty Tow Truck set number 4128. The set will contain 2017 pieces, pneumatics, and will retail for only $150, so you can pay half the price of the Zetros and still get a set with about the same number of pieces and pneumatics, although 
no electronics. This set includes the Pneumatics 2.0 system, featuring the long, skinny linear actuator and many other desirable pneumatic components. The set will also feature an openable cabin with an inline six cylinder engine. On the side of the truck, you get many various different control knobs. The first one controls the rear tow bar, the second one controls the rear outriggers, the third one controls the main outriggers, and the fourth one controls the rotation of the crane. If all four of these functions, as well as a motorized pneumatic compressor, were combined into a distribution gearbox and the set were motorized with a basic powered up battery box and a large motor, then that would have been absolutely incredible. The Lego Technic service truck from 2013 retailed for about $130, had less pieces, but it came with a gearbox and power functions right out of the box. So that does make me wish that this set was a little bit more advanced in terms of mechanisms. However, the price is still great for the LEGO Technic heavy duty tow truck since it has more than 2,000 pieces and pneumatics, so I don't mind the set being on the more basic side. This does raise one important question though, will this set be motor upgradable with a basic powered up battery box and a large motor? Personally, I think yes. Historically, with power functions, manual pneumatic sets have always been upgradable with a battery box and a motor. So I do think that this set will be motor upgradable and you will be able to add a power to battery box and a motor to the set so that way it is way more fun. However, if the set does not feature motor upgradability, then I definitely will be modifying the set to have a motorized pneumatic compressor because motorized pneumatic sets have been around since the classic days of LEGO Technic. The aesthetics of this set are pretty good though. I love the front grille with the headlights, it looks great. The stickers on the front cabin are good, but I think that here on the side, it's a little too much. Just a plain LEGO Technic panel would have been perfectly fine here. No sticker needed. This set looks like it'll be incredibly fun to play with, especially with the dual winches at the back. You can hook up your McLaren Senna GTR or the Jeep Wrangler and get the best experience possible with the set. The winches do feature basic locking mechanisms, which is quite nice, since the winch on the LEGO Technic Jeep Wrangler set number 42122 would not lock, and it would always just extend all the way out before being able to pull a heavy object. This set seems like a successor to the LEGO Technic 8285 tow truck released in 2006. Both of these are based on the exact same type of vehicle and they both feature pneumatics, even having a similar amount of pieces and being almost the same price. Personally, I prefer the aesthetics of the original 2006 model, however, the 2021 tow truck looks good, but the old one is even better in my opinion. If this is your first pneumatic set ever, then I highly recommend buying this set, especially since it's just $150 for more than 2,000 pieces. This is a much better deal than the $170 Ferrari 488 GTE, which had less pieces and a lot less functionality. However, if you already owned many pneumatic sets in the past, like the Aurox, the EW160E, the tractor with log loader and more, then I don't think this set really offers anything special. It has the same basic mechanisms without bringing much new to the table. I have a video about the LEGO Technic Ford Raptor F-150 4226 coming tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe so that way you can be the first to view it. This is your Unbreak Me here and I'll see you in the next one.